Look on the TV, boo boo. Yeah, you're on the TV. What you been up to, boo boo? Hard day at the library? Still going over statistics and the, the number of books we have in the archive, Alexander? That looked like a firm yes. Uh, a nightly bath, my king? What you looking at? Today, this is Alexander. He organized the bookshelf. He even added his car without wheels on the bottom, which is his carrier. Good job, Alexander. And that's why we call him. What do we call you, Bubble? The library cat. What is that? <laughs> you have anything to add? Oh, getting a little bite to eat, my king. I wish he was still a baby still. He's gotten so big from when he was, I probably got him, oh, let's see, 2021 summer? Yeah. Or last summer. Yeah, yeah, sorry, last summer. Not the summer that we just had, but the summer before that one, so. He's coming, he's a year in like four months. But I remember when he was small, like I could barely fit him in my hand. And now he, I haven't taken him to the vet in a while, but guarantee he's getting close to 16, 18 pounds probably. Easy. Yeah. Yeah, but that's just, you know, just him eating, nothing exciting, but... You see the rest of the room. We got we got busy, busy uh, men in this library. Me and Alexander, we study, take notes in our excerpts, write extra notes to the footnotes of other books, and just add on to our own book and our writings ourselves. Me and him, but yeah, he's a he's a big part. He is like I like I said, I got him. And it's to be honest, I was in recovery and he helped more than ever. And I didn't make this channel to talk about the recovery aspect of my life or any of that. Uh, that could be like a different video or a different channel, but this channel is just, you know, geared towards him. I know it's just boring watching him eat, you know, someone out there will like it. Boo boo, hey, boo boo, where are you going? Come here, where are you going? Alexander. Hey! He's camera shy. He knows when I'm actually filming him and when I'm not. See, he directly went behind that box. That is unlike him. If you were to see him throughout the day, he doesn't leave a few inches from me. But now, he look, I'm trying without getting off the bed, but um, I'm trying my hardest to get on camera now. But you see, he's, he's a lively one, he, usually, but... Yeah, this channel's about him and then other stuff y'all seen, like, you know, y'll I'm sure y'all seen some of the UFO, UAP stuff I've put on there and, you know, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, uh, this is our study corridor and when we do feel, oh, there he is. He was doing, what were you doing you weren't supposed to? Hey, come here. You don't leave two inches from me all day and then I turn on the camera and you won't even come up to me. What's the matter? What's the matter? What you doing? Oh, there you go, buddy. Hey. What's up? Now you're... Now you're... Yeah. What'd you go do? I was just telling them about our library, Alexander. <laughs> That's why I love cats. Just one minute they're doing something, and the next minute, <laughs> his att his attention span's pretty good actually. Because I mean, when I'm playing with him, he, I usually play for him like five to thirty minutes, 
I mean, that's pretty good for a cat. I've seen other cats like play, and then ten seconds later they're doing something else. Well, they, he's he might do that too, but but anyways, if anyone ever you know wondered about the channel, that's a little more fully of it. And yeah, we're trying to get watch hours. We're trying to get watch hours so we can get monetized on here. Um, I was doing really good back in September. Uh, I was doing really good numbers and stuff, but now. You know, I, I just cracked 2,000 on another one. You know, those are like Facebook numbers, but, uh, yeah, we're trying to get there. I used to have another channel, uh, like, I have 50,000 views on it with some videos. It's it's old. It's back from, like, 2009-ish, 10-ish videos about, like, Kimbo Slice and stuff like that. But, yeah, this is, this is Alexander's page mainly, and, uh... Yeah, here's my other bookshelf right here. Some some books. I have. I leave these top ones are are more important, which there's some in there scattered that are just as important as those top ones. But uh, those are more like our 500, 600 page her, her, Hermetica, uh, History of Greece, Primeval, and the Kabbalah. Uh, ancient Warfare in Mesopotamia and Samaria, uh, Pseudofigra book, uh, the non-canical uh, text. It's like a part three to the Charles uh, Wisdom and Apocalyptic Pseudofigras that came out in the 1970s and 80s, and I think they've redone them, but that's the newest one. And then we got a Aramaic Greek New Testament Bible with a new... Uh, the Gospel of Thomas, uh, Gospel of Mary, like those different Gnostic texts in there, but with the original uh, New Testament, Mark, Matthew, uh, Luke, and John. Yeah, and then there's some. Uh, there's a George Rawlson book, which is a um, ancient Egyptian history book. But yeah, that's all we like to add. But Alexander, you have anything else to say? Boo boo, boo boo. Hey. Nah, he's busy. He's been taking clean. But, anyways, thank you for hearing in. Peace.